Okay. Hi, everybody. This is Sue from Sue Sparklers. I told everyone I would make my um, shaving cream uh, paint demo for you guys, and here it is. Of course, I had to try to remember how to do the camera, and I'm hoping my voice is loud enough, and I'm hoping that you can also turn up the volume on your computer if you need to. So anyway, this is what we're doing. So the shaving cream that we're using is just a Gillette Foamy, just a cheap shaving cream. doesn't have to be, it can't, can't be actually an uh, expensive shaving, cr shaving cream. And then just some acrylic paint. So any paint actually that says fabric or porous on the back of it will work. We've just always started using uh, shaving cream. We're going to use a dry little foamy brush. A lot of this stuff you can get at the dollar store. So go through the craft aisle. They have lots of stuff there. Okay, so on the back of the stencil, and I've also, with the friction pen, which is F-R-I-X-I-O-N, just a simple pen you can get at Office Depot, um, Staples, wherever, I've made little registration marks on my shirt because I found that once I start doing a project and I start um, working things out, I tend to forget you know, to get it centered and everything. So I make my registration marks and then I kind of wander off and do other stuff, but at least those marks are on there. And they erase with the heat from an iron, so I love making all kinds of uses for that. Okay, I put spray adhesive on the back of this stencil um, for the shaving cream paint. And the reason is because when I use the um, dauber, the dry dauber, it tends to lift the stencil away from the shirt and then you have a greater chance of getting paint underneath the edges. So I've been spray paint or spray adhesiving, spray adhesiving, probably not a word, the back of the stencils to hold them in place. So to show you what I mean by that, if we take a stencil over here, I'm just going to take uh, these paints I've been making up here as we've been going along and it will tend to lift. And you probably can't see that really easily, but I know that I'm not getting as good a contact there. It just seems to lift a little bit more, and then I won't get as clean edges. See, they're bled a little bit underneath there. So that's why I'm using the spray adhesive on the back. Okay, let's not clean that dauber. We might actually want to use it. Okay, so how do we make our shaving cream? You take your shaving cream, shake it up, and you buy these. You can buy these little containers at the dollar store. And I hold it up so that I'm not spraying like this. I always think things work better when they're upright. And you just spray a little bit of paint in there, or shaving cream in there. It doesn't have to be very much, depending on how much paint you want to make up. And then we are making orange paint this time. Orange is one of my favorite colors. So we're going to shake up your paint. But orange is one of my favorite colors. So then dab some paint out, okay? And then you take a little popsicle stick and you stir up the paint. You don't use very much paint. The more paint you use in the shaving cream, the heavier it's going to be on your shirt. And I don't like heavy paint, which is why I always liked spray painting. And th But this paint will be more solid looking then the spray paint will be, and I know a lot of people will like that too. Okay, so we make up the paint, okay? When you make up white spray paint, you do have to put enough paint in there so that it will show up. So I, I do think the white spray paint will get a little heavier on there just because you have to put more paint in there. Okay, so let's use, what should we make as hat? I love turquoise, so let's make a turquoise hat. I like to do the outside edges first because then I know I've got those outside edges done and I can concentrate on just filler in paint in the center, okay? So you can see how it still lifts the shirt and stuff, but at least the stencil is attached to the shirt, okay? And don't worry that you're gonna get like excess little um, bunches of paint on the shirt, that's not going to hurt anything. And I did a previous um, demo, but we got stopped in the middle because we ran out of battery. That's why there's pink on this shirt. We already did the bunny and the nose. Okay, so this is basically the second half, but you got all of it. You get everything that you need. 
I would just want to get those edges right there. Okay, so now I can go back in and put some paint in here. Okay, it's so much fun. I think this is as much fun as when I spray paint, so this has been a really fun technique to show people. Okay, so there's that. And then have a little thing of water sitting by that you can put your little daubers into. So then we're gonna make his beard, and I made up some gray paint for his beard. So we're just gonna dab that on there, just like that. Again, trying to go around his edges. Try to stay away from the paint that's already on the shirt, if that's possible. Just keeping in mind, you are hand painting. This is never gonna be perfect, I wish. But nothing I've ever done has turned out perfect anyway so and you can kind of use the edges of your brush too to kind of get along the sides of the stencil there trying not to get any on the bunny and the bunny has already gotten a little bit on the beard because I guess I wasn't as careful right there so like I said it's not going to be a perfect project wouldn't that be nice but if you're happy with it, that's all that matters. And if somebody else just says that's a really cute shirt, they're going to look at it for five seconds, and they're going to say, oh, that's a really cute shirt, and then they're going to move on because they are more involved in their own stuff than they are in your stuff. Okay? So take it easy on yourself. Don't worry if you don't get it perfect. It just, in the scheme of things, just really won't matter. Now i got this tiny little edge between the bunny and the nose, which is a little harder to get. I want to make sure I got those edges up there. Get that right in there. Oh, a little bit of an edge up there. Okay, so I got the gray on there now. Okay, so put the thing back in and now we're going to do his little sleeves and that's his hands. And I guess I'll do this little turquoise color for his little hands here. And of course, I could have used that pink for his hands again, right? Sometimes it's a good idea to kind of look at it and stand back and go, where do I want the colors to go? Because you don't want your little stick to go into the water if you're still going to use that color paint. Makes sense, huh? Okay, so let's, okay, that's his little arms. Okay. So then I'll just take another little stick and do his little silly hands again. And I'm just going to do the edge because they're just tight in there. There's just a very small space to do his little hands with. But I want to make sure I get that definition in there. Okay. I guess the good thing is it's the same pink as the bunny. So if I get some pink up on the bunny, that won't make any difference right there. Okay. And then, shoot, I'm giving him orange pants. I know. Oh, that's the bottom of his beard. Oh, almost made a major mistake. Right below the bunny is the, is the, his bottom of his beard. Oh, jeez. Sometimes you got to look at your stencils and really, like I said, lay them out so that you get everybody where you want it to go. Like his beard. It would not be cute if I made part of his beard orange. But it's also kind of pretty to blend and mix colors and do stuff like that. So don't be afraid to just have some free form. Okay, so there's that. Now we'll do his pants. And that's some orange that I've made up. I'm just going to make his pants right here. Try to stay away from his shoes. You might even be able to just trim these little foamy brushes too to make them like less round, but maybe more square. I just thought of that. Make them more square so that you would really be able to get in easier in some of these tight little spots. Okay, boy, this guy is wildly different colors. Okay, so let's give him purple shoes. Why not? So let's go down. Just going to give him some little purple shoes right here. 
What's nice about the shoes is there's nothing really next to it you have to worry about getting color on. It does make it easier. We could give him little tie-dye orange and purple pants. Who knows? <laughs> My ideas aren't always, turn out always the best. Okay, so we have, and you could take this stencil over to the sink and wash it and get this paint off. It doesn't wipe as clean as it does when you do spray painting. And remember that sticky adhesive is on the back. So take this and lay it on top of a piece of parchment paper and that will keep it from wanting to go ahead and stick onto everything. Okay, so here is our little bunny. His beard got a little dark. I would have liked a little bit lighter gray. But you can see how we pretty much stayed inside. All of our lines, the spray adhesive really helped like with that. You um, can paint on 100% natural fibers, 100% cotton. You can use a little spandex in with the cotton, maybe as much as 10%, but not more than that. Silk, wool, rayon, cotton, nothing, not, cotton poly will not work. The polyester won't hold on to the paint. It takes 24 hours for the paint to cure. So before 24 hours, but before, after 24 hours, but before laundry, you need to heat set the paint. And that's a cotton setting on the iron, 30 seconds wherever the paint is. You don't have to put anything over the top if you don't want to, you're just heat setting the paint. That will make the shirt turn out exactly like that every single time that you wear it, okay? So that is finally my um, uh, shaving cream demo. I finally got it done. I'm gonna put it up on YouTube. I'll put the link in the newsletter so all of you that wanted me to get this done will get it done. And now I'm going to swivel the camera around so that you can see um, the lake, and this is our lake that we see every day. Of course, today is really nice, but it's pretty beautiful out there today. And the sun is shining, the wind isn't blowing 100 miles an hour. We're getting those storms over from California. So, anyway, thanks for watching. And any questions, don't hesitate to email me or email me at info at sues sparklers.com. Two S's in the middle. Thanks everybody.